once in a while, right in the middle of an ordinary life, love gives us a fairy tale. And that's why we're here today. I happen to notice that Adam has a hard time sleeping at night. He usually comes alive around 11 p.m. or so and really isn't too interested in sleep. So I thought about this for a while, wondering to myself, where does he get this energy? And then it hit me. This must be the reason, and it came to me in the form of a quote from a person much wiser than I, Dr. Seuss. You know you're in love when you don't want to fall asleep because reality is finally better than all your dreams. Dear Morgan, I've been looking forward to this day since the second we met. The day that I have the absolute honor and privilege to become your husband. Throughout our journey, you have shown me so many things that I am infinitely grateful for. You have shown me how to love, what it feels like to be loved, and most importantly, that our love outweighs all I have ever dreamed that I would find in someone like you. You are my soulmate, my other half, and the piece of my heart that I didn't know was missing. I can't wait to spend forever with you. I remember the day very well. It was January, it was freezing, the temperatures were in the negatives, and it was the start of a new semester. We were both bundled up rushing to class, and it was in that moment when we crossed paths. We looked up at one another and smiled. I immediately got butterflies in my stomach, and I thought, wow, who was that? Just a smile, that was all it took and I've been hooked ever since. Early February of 2015 was the night you changed my life forever. It was the night you caught me throwing tequila shots over my shoulder because I was trying to pace myself and make a good impression. It was the night I was able to finagle my number into your phone. And it was the night I realized you were the person I wanted to be with. And to think all this could have happened at a nightclub called The Finger Bullet. <laughs> nightclub, not strip club. I remember when we weren't even dating for a year yet, and Adam says to me, we should get a dog. It made me realize that he too wanted to do this life with me for the long haul, and we haven't looked back since. There will never be another you, Adam. And I don't know what I did in this life to deserve you. But I'm glad the stars aligned and brought us together because now I get to call you my husband and now we are Mr. and Mrs. Moody.